some of the downsides of decentralized exchanges. There's a transaction fee for the blockchain plus a trading fee. And uh, this was a big problem with Ethereum in the past, but they've kind of put some second layers on top of it to make it faster and to settle it later. Uh, you're responsible for your own wallet keys, your secret phrases, and uh, the research of any coins that you're looking to trade. And you know this, is, this puts the responsibility on you for maintaining your keys, making sure you're saving your secret phrases in a safe spot and not deleting stuff like that or, or losing them. Um, liquidity on DEXs can be too low for big trades, so a lot of whales stay away from DEXs for now. And a lot of different cross-chain projects are working on that, a lot of bridges. And uh, so ho hopefully in the future, liquidity won't be a big problem. Probably a lot of DEXs will be connected with each other. There's a new thing called aggregators where they they look at many different DEXs and many different protocols and can actually trade immediately uh, split up within those, which is really interesting. And also scam coins are often added to a DEX because, you know, they're not regulated. Their DEXs, uh, you know, are just wallet to, to the liquidity pool. So, um, you know, it's up to the DEX to kind of vet tokens. But of course, scam coins get through. Um, sometimes, you know, you got to research to make sure that the DEX itself is legit too, because, you know, there, there could be a time where DEXs themselves are the scam. Um, and so it's just another thing that we need to be aware of in our uh, research and our security.